Happy Saturday, June 11th, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be short, but I just want to give you an update as to where we're at on our little small raised flower bed garden here at the house. And this is raised flower bed number one. That's the first one that Jackie and Andrew built. Uh, you can see it's uh, half bare now or half empty because we have pulled the potatoes out. We harvested those, had 26 uh, little potatoes off the uh, four plants. And I'm guessing they were a little small because we overcrowded that box. And the reason we overcrowded the box is we had no earthly idea that we would get as much harvest out of what we put in there. So that's a tip. Be careful. Uh, so anyways, the four potato plants come out with 26 potatoes. The burpless cucumbers we pulled out, and they were a tremendous harvest. And if you remember, they went all the way to the top there. What's remaining is the sweet 100 cherry tomatoes. In another tip, don't intertwine tomatoes and cucumbers. Again, our or Jackie's green thumb capacity was way more than what we thought it would be and the cucumbers and the tomatoes intertwine like a bunch of hippies at Woodstock. So it was tough segregating them to get rid of the cucumber plants because they had already served their useful purpose. But the Sweet 100 cherry tomatoes, they're, they're still growing strong. We're getting 25 to 30 a day out of here. Plus uh, the banana pepper on the other side that you can't see from here, but you've seen it before. Uh, just pulled four off of it a moment ago and still have a basil plant left in here uh, along with the marigolds. So we're probably going to let this dirt rest since we just pulled the cucumber out, give it a few days to rest and just see what it looks like to decide whether we want to plant anything or not. Uh, most of you know we're in South Georgia, so it gets hot here as it is across most of the Midwest, so not quite sure when we'll plant something else. Here we still have sweet 100 cherry tomatoes and they're still growing we pull them from every day and here are our Roma potatoes or potatoes tomatoes and they're just starting to turn so we, we can't wait to get the the big tomatoes this tomato over here is what Jack better boy a better boy so we got a couple of them on there uh, four or five of those but they haven't started turning yet but again you can see we pulled the green dragon cucumbers out. Now that is something that we were not pleased with the harvest. Uh, it probably only had a, a third at the most of what the burpless did. And the cucumber larva worms, if that's what they were, but anyways the worms that we had attacked the green dragon more than it did the burpless. So for eight, zone 8b eight where we're at, I don't recommend green dragon cucumbers. Okay, over here, uh, you see this is blank. The little topsy-turvy fancy tomato and cucumber upside down contraptions we had, they're in the trash. We will never have those things again. Uh, the green dragon cucumber that was in there was worthless. The tomatoes that were in there, as soon as they started turning, got blossom rot. So it had five beautiful tomatoes on it. But as soon as they started turning colors, the blossom rot set in. So no more upside down containers for us, whether it be milk jugs, topsy turvies, five gallon buckets, or two liter Coke bottles. The two liter or the upside down is, is what it is, and it's a gimmick. Okay, we finally got our blackberries planted. And uh, you can see I got four befores and got got a hog panel there using as the, as the trestle, so don't have to worry about the wind taking that trellis out, because it's there forever and ever. But got four blackberry plants. Uh, this one on this side is a triple crown. This one over here is a Natchez, N-A-T-C-H-E-Z, if I'm saying that right. The two that are on the other side, the neighbor give us, so we don't know what kind those are. But. They have been in here a couple weeks now. I just haven't showed them to you before. We still got to put some more pine bark or something in to, to finish filling the bed up, but they're, they're looking good. Now, for those of you that remember the video where I had the mama mockingbird chasing Jackie across the yard, the, the little birdies have finally left the nest uh, probably about two weeks ago. And you see the nest is empty. 
But what's funny is, of course, the mockingbirds are all gone. But this morning when we come out, the mockingbird left that house, the roof of that house, and flew straight over the top of our house and was raising sand the whole way. But it never changed its flight pattern. It just flew over the top of her, but it, it was probably a good 50 feet above her head. So just for some reason, that bird just, doesn't, just does not like my wife. Okay, and getting ready to close this short video, the last thing we have that we haven't transplanted yet is a couple of different tomatoes, uh, yellow pear tomatoes. I, I got one sunflower seed left. Uh, everything else the rabbits have got. So next year I'm going to have to do some rabbit control before I plant sunflowers again. Of course, and then we got some blueberries here that we've got to transplant as well. So if you're new to our channel, ask you to just subscribe to us. If you're an existing subscriber, we thank you for being part of our family as we pass a thousand. And we have an upcoming video announcement of a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So stay tuned for that giveaway announcement and hope everyone will participate and like what we're giving away. So until then, stay tuned and God bless.